Let's consider the following computer science question. The question asks us to consider the following code segment. It gives us the code segment, and then it asks us what is printed as a result of executing the code segment. In order to solve this question, we need to consider two parts. First, we need to read and understand the code segment. And secondly, we need to trace the execution of the code to be able to observe the output. First, let's take a look at the code. We have a for loop, which starts at k equals 0. It loops while k is less than 20, and k is incremented by 2 each iteration. Inside the loop, we have an if statement. If k modulo 3 is equal to 1, then print k followed by a space. The modulo operator is the remainder operator. So this is like doing k divided by 3, grabbing the remainder, checking if that is equal to 1. Let's solve this by tracing the execution of the code. So initially, thinking about the values of k, k starts at 0. 0 mod 3 is equal to 0, so that will not be printed. 0 gets incremented by 2 to 2. 2 mod 3 is equal to 2, that will not be printed. 2 gets incremented by 2 to 4. 4 mod 3 is equal to 1, that will be printed. Looking at the answer choices, the first number printed has to be 4, which eliminates C, D, and E. Going back to the execution, 4 gets incremented by 2 to 6. 6 mod 3 is equal to 0, that will not be printed. 6 gets incremented by 2 to 8. 8 mod 3 is equal to 2, that will not be printed. 8 gets incremented to 10. 10 mod 3 is equal to 1, so that will be printed. Looking at the two options here, that eliminates A, and therefore our answer must be B. If we were to follow through on the execution, we would see that 16 would be the next and only remaining value, where 16 modulo 3 is also equal to 1, and so that gets printed as well.